combines the diagnostic imaging and targeted therapy using the radio pharmaceutical. So this is a new innovative approach for the cancer treatment in individual patients. So if compared to the conventional methods, it's like uh, when you buy the t-shirt with one size fits all, this can this is not the answer. With the theranostic, it's like uh, you tailor everyone. So if compared to the one size fits all cross and uh, tailor cross, of course the tailor cross is uh, the answer for individual treatment. That is a promising way to treat the cancer. Uh, the theranostic is a tailor made. Uh, cancer management, so we can manage individual one by one. For example, uh, with the same cancer, the treatment doesn't mean the same. So it's up to the uh, the genetic and the symptom of each patient. So we decide uh, the treatment treatment methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah treatment method to fit to each patient. Okay. Um, uh, uh, what challenges do you face in implementing precision medicine? At first is a high price and the second is a, a opinion of the society especially for uh, the conventional method. So the people should be concerned that uh, the, we, we we have a new new option that is promising to treat the cancer. Steranostic processes are most effective. Okay. <coughs> most effective. Okay. So you could like give an example of prostate. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, right now we are mostly use the teranostic with the prostate cancer. This is very really effective from the beginning. If compared to uh, to the con conventional method. For example, we biopsy the uh, prostate. It's very difficult and very painful. With the teranostic, we just inject one radio pharmaceutical and scan. So uh, we can get the information of the, where is cancer is. We can see by imaging. For the treatment, as I said, it's a uh, telomere treatment with the very specific. So uh, the Toranosic will show the effectiveness and the better effective with the lower side effect because it's really sp specific to the target. Uh, do you think that uh, this process everyone should uh, apply uh, because uh, this is the new process I think? Yes. Uh, this is a very good question because uh, with, because we, we already have the stand, gold standard. So normally uh, the oncologists will follow the gold standard. This is the same in the world. But with the new option uh, that offer the new concept. This process, theronistic, huh? um, um, do you think that uh, this is the new process? Okay, uh, the new process. Should everyone take it and why? Because uh, mm. we know that uh, cancer is a deadly um, uh, disease. Uh, no one mm. can uh, live in this uh, cancer situation. So mm -hmm. why? Okay, okay. Uh, from, from the reason we learned more than half century that the conventional method cannot manage the cancer. So everyone have to ask the, the, the doctor, how long do I live? So that means the, the method we have is not effective. So Tolanosic is the new option, the new promising method to offer them. Because with a new concept of the targeted therapy, uh, the patient will gain the higher quality of life with a higher effective. So uh, in the future, this will be the game changer of the cancer diagnosis and treatment. Mm. Uh, 
in uh, in Bangladesh, cancer treatment is a uh, very expensive. Expensive mm -hmm. uh, cancer treatment expensive, but uh, uh, do you, uh, uh, this process uh, how much you cost or, or uh, is that much expensive or mm -hmm. less? Uh, to uh, from my from my practice in Thailand, uh, we found that the 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 cost of treatment is almost the same. For example, in one cost of chemotherapy and one injection of uh, toranosic is almost the same. But what we get is better effect, better result with a low side effect. Uh, most of the patients we have, uh, all of them say the same thing, that if they know there's toranosic in the world, they will not go to the conventional method. Um, what are the main barriers to adopting thermostick? Barrier is uh, the first one is a high price. Yes, yes. Uh, and second one is uh, the manpower with the skill to to do thermostick. The third one is the opinion of the society awareness. We 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 need to change the way we do because we already know that. These cannot s treat the cancer, so why, why don't we, we try with a new concept and new way to fight with cancer? And we saw this ex example and success successful story from another country. Uh, in Bangladesh, we are mostly dependent on um, uh, basically uh, we don't try new medicines in. Bangladesh. So, uh, how could you convince them to um, uh, adopt this uh, therapeutic uh, okay. process in cancer treatment? Because cancer treatment is a very crucial uh, uh, for persons and uh, uh, those families. So, so uh, this is because of. Oh, sorry. Uh, we can see for, uh, the result from another country, especially in in Europe in Germany or in Australia, in Japan, in America, that show the better result and this is satisfy both medical team and the patient. And then you can see back, look back to, to yourself that uh, this is promising approach for cancer treatment in the future. Thailand. You are practice right now in Thailand. Yes. Okay. Uh, in Thailand, how uh, how many um, uh, patients you treat uh, them with the thermostic process? Okay. In uh, with the statistic in my center, uh, we have uh, about two hundred injection for diagnosis, and about until now about eighty times of treatment have already done in Thailand. Uh, uh, will prescriptions, medicines, and uh, thermostics become standard care for all the cancers? Oh, right. Right now, there's two types of uh, two generations of thermostics. The first one we success with the two types of cancer. The first one is neuroendocrine tumor. Second one is prostate cancer. For the second generation of thermostics, we can use the one little pharmaceutical for. 25 types of solid tumor, for example, lung, lung cancer, breast cancer, uh, liver cancer, gas, gastric cancer, intestine, colorectal, ovarian cancer, for example. Okay. Uh, how can countries that Bangladesh adopt thermostics with limited resources? Mm. So I think at first we should uh, realize the awareness of the society that we should move to the next step and then uh, the people have to be trained or educated how to do that uh, last question is uh, so how can a country like Bangladesh uh, you know benefit uh, or adopt this with adopt the limited it. resources mm -hmm. so you spoke about uh, knowledge okay you spoke about mm -hmm. awareness mm -hmm. so the third point okay at first I think uh, the society should should arise the web awareness and choose move see the new seek for the new met 
approach to treat the cancer. And then uh, the manpower is really important. So the medical staff choose uh, uh, earn, have an education and training how to do diagnostic in Bangladesh. And the last one is collaboration. Even though you have knowledge, you have, even though you have uh, awareness, but you, you need a collaboration from the company. For example, in my case, MedEye Thailand helped us to supply the machine, the radio pharmaceutical. So in Bangladesh, uh, you, can, you can use the same strategy with the MedInvest. Uh, uh, do you find any investor or uh, do you collaborate uh, with any um, other uh, companies in Bangladesh in this project? In this project, of course, uh, I, I focus on just only in, in Thailand, so may I can supply me. If government wants to work with you in this project in Bangladesh, uh, will you work on that? Okay, there's uh, two ways. Uh, one is uh, by inviting for me to, to stay in your job period and training, or you can send some people to train in my center. Mm. That's interesting. Okay, what are the uh, recommendations for cancer treatment for the general public in Bangladesh? Hmm? What are your recommendations for uh, cancer treatment for the general public, for uh, general people? General, mm. So at, at first you need, uh, you need that correct diagnosis. So I, I, in the first step, I recommend you start from the diagnosis. It's very really important. You need to see where is the cancer is by imaging. Okay. After after you you can see it, you can start treatment. So the treatment strategy you can follow our uh, experience. We can share and we can learn and help each other. So, uh, for example, in with the prostate cancer, we will use. Uh, the radio pharmaceutical name lutetium PSMA. This is already commercial available, and the company can supply you. And with the know-how how to produce this radio pharmaceutical, the medical doctor can use this one to treat the patient immediately. Do you think uh, that uh, we imagine the cancer is the right process in our hospital doctor? Yes. I okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so <much. laughs> yes, I think so because uh, the imaging process is now become the international standard and as far as I know there are some big hospital in Bangladesh got already got this scanner. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Which aspects do you think should be prioritized to improve Bangladesh healthcare system and medical service? In my okay. Yes. In my opinion uh, at first, uh, the key opinion uh, will play the important role to change the awareness of the society. And the second one, I think uh, education and training can be helped. And after you gain the knowledge and know-how, and then the cooperation from the other, for example, from the company, from the outside country, will be helped you to establish this in Bangladesh. What message do we give to the public, uh, means to the general people of Bangladesh, uh, in terms of cancer diagnosis and management? Okay. So I think the answer should be more about screening, to be more health conscious, okay. to understand the body and to go. I see. Okay. Uh, I would like to, to, to share uh, experience from Japan. So uh, if it is Japanese, uh, same, same to an, another country that they don't know uh, is there any cancer cell in, in the body. So we have the special radio pharmaceutical called FDG. In, with injection of FDG, it's a sugar, sugar with a radiation, radioisotope. Uh, sugar will be uptake to the cancer cell. So you can, uh, you can imaging in any step, even though you have no symptom, you will know that you have a cancer cell or not by this one. This is the uh, really effective tool to check out uh, for the, the cancer.